Good morning. I'm delighted to be joined today by Peter Holmgren, the Director General of the Centre for International Forestry Research, C4, and Tony Simons, the Director General of the World Agroforestry Centre, also known as ICREF. Today we are marking the special occasion of the United Nations International Day of Forests. What is the state of the world's forests? Should we be worried? I think we should be grateful and delighted because forests and trees are contributing so much to the development that we need. Uh, more than one billion people get a big part of their income from the forests. A lot of the ecosystem services, the water we drink, sustaining agriculture, reducing hunger, a lot of this is happening through forests and trees. Often we take forests and trees for granted. There are very few things that live longer than humans, and trees is one of those. Trees are, trees are the ultimate intergenerational gift, and we don't really value them until they're gone. So we've got a net loss of trees at the moment, and we've got to reverse that, and that will come about through forest protection, better forest management, and planting programs that recognize the value and the utility of those trees. C4 has just launched its new 10-year strategy and ICRAF will be doing the same and both will have strong links to the new global development agenda. Why the linkage? The Rio meeting in 1992 um, defined a lot of things, um, particularly related to the environment. We have the three large environment conventions. We also have what is now the UN Forum on Forests. And C4 was created in the same spirit, with a lot of focus on the environmental issues of forests. But since then, C4 has worked in a broader fashion, looking at the policy arena, looking at the governance and, and, the, and, and the issues related to people and forests. This is really the, the spirit by which we are now launching our new strategy, where we are aligning ourselves to not one, not six, but all of the 17 sustainable development goals that the United Nations member countries agreed to. As Peter said, um, the contribution to the CGR3 high-level goals of poverty reduction, reducing hunger and reducing environmental degradation are, are, are fundamental to the thread and aims of both of our institutes. And here, the 100 million people that are going to be lifted out of poverty, the 150 million people that are going to be reduced in hunger and the 190 million hectares of degraded land that will be restored by 2030 from the efforts of the CGR, C4 and ICRAF contribute substantially to all of those. And what we're going to see now is, is a much more focused direction on that impact. We have the opportunity now to bring forestry into the full sustainable development framework. If you just take one of the goals in the sustainable development framework, water, Forests and trees are essential for managing the planet's water. Probably the most important forest product in Jakarta is safe drinking water, which is harvested from the forests outside Bogor, where we're sitting at this point in Seafor's campus.